you guys welcome back to my channel let's do that one so today we're gonna be cooking my whole entire family is here it's not many of us it's only three of them but um my family's Four. here it's three of y'all plus me. And Macchiato. Oh, sorry. It's four now. We have an addition to the family. My sister had a baby. Forgot all about my nephew. Um, what was I getting to? So me and my brother, it's just gonna be really intimate. Um, later on, it's just gonna be me and my brother. We're gonna be oh, cooking. Oh. We're gonna be cooking very intimate. We're gonna be cooking. It's gonna be very intimate. I'm gonna be asking him some questions while we're cooking. Today we are making chicken lasagna rolls. Right? That's what you call it? That's what you said. Chicken lasagna rolls is what we're doing. So Alfredo sauce from scratch with the lasagna noodles. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna walk you through everything. So you guys have been asking about merchandise and I was like, you know what? Since 2024 is the year of winning for me and we're gonna be doing that one. I'm like, why not just drop some merch? So I have a website and everything that will be launching. I'm going to show you guys and add everything down there so you can place your orders. We got white t-shirts with the mug shots. And then in the back, we got Let's Do That One by Aubrey Banks. And if y'all all, all want to come in now and show you guys, we got some flavors for you. Ooh. Let's do that one. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> So we got the pink camo on the black. Hi, everybody. We got Let's the white. Do that Let's one. do that one. We got the white with the chrome. And now the star of the show. Hi. We got the black chrome. Why my face look crazy? Okay, there we go. Born. Why do they look like this? <laughs> no, I don't. And so yeah, I'm the white um pink camo. He's the black with the chrome. My mom is the white with the chrome, and my sister's the black with the camo. So on the website, you're gonna be able to purchase either a sweater in the colors of black or white, and then you're also gonna be able to add um or purchase a shirt with the colors of camo or chrome, black or white as well. So Without further ado, let's get to it. He's boiling the noodles right now, as y'all can see. His house is amazing, by the way. Like, let's just give him a round of applause. Like, he did his big one. He owns this condo. They bought it. Um, like, you know, they're just an inspiration to me. I'm at home with my mom, and this niggas is out here living in condos. Like, they're doing that. So, he's got the noodles boiling. And I'm about to season the chicken. Oh, God. Why? Because I'm seasoning? You don't know how to cook. All right, we got all-purpose wow. seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, adobo. You want to add paprika? <laughs> like, y'all are amazing. I said y'all are amazing or annoying. What did I just say? We're amazing. We know what your mom is. Oh, chill. All right, huh? So we got some all-purpose seasoning. We got some adobo, onion powder, garlic powder. She's over here sitting on the couch. Look, let's see. Can we turn you guys? Hi. There ain't no cable channels. It's a fire stick. I don't know what channel is what. Come on, girl. You gonna watch S um, SVU or something? Or? Where? 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 All right, so without further ado, we're gonna ask you some questions. For me? Yeah. Just like to get into you a little more. Like, you know, everyone loves you on Instagram. Um, he's doing gluten free as well. Can't even see me. He's doing gluten free as well because my sister is allergic to gluten. Or no, she's allergic to everything but the gluten, right? How does well, it she's go? Allergic, she's, she, she, she can't have that. I am allergic. Yeah, but you can't have gluten, right? I'm allergic to gluten. Oh, right. She's she can't allergic have it. to gluten. Okay, so I said it right. She's allergic to gluten, which is why she has to have gluten free. Um, So I came across this video on what was it, Instagram, 
And I was like, what can I do? Like, I'm trying to spice things up. I'm trying to do things differently this time around for YouTube. And I was like, why not? So everyone loves you on Instagram, like I said. So I wanted to, I wanted them to like get into debt with you a little more and like you talk. So introduce yourself. What's up with you? Oh man. Basically, I'm the one who raised her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, bye. Yeah, that's all me. Pause. But um, I'm her big brother slash a father. Like, absolutely not. Slash a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Can we clear the air? Because the other day I was on the phone with a few friends, right? And they said that you really don't respect me and that you be looking at me as like your little brother because you always call me bro. But just us being from New York, I tried to explain that's just how we talk. Like, yeah, that's yo, just... bro, what's good? Like, even if we play around, like, yeah, you're my little brother. Like, I personally don't take no offense to that because at the end of the day, I was his little brother no. before no. being his little sister. So... What you do? Maki, why you pee on your bed, boy? So, when it comes to that... Yeah. Saying bro is slang though. Saying bro is slang, but I guess sure. like in the intimate setting where we're in the house, you be like, my little brother. Or like, you know, just being funny and who you are. Because a lot of people may not know you and how you really play or how we play with each other, Paul. That was crazy. Uh -huh. okay. But it's all jokes. Like, I respect her for who she is and her transformation that she went through. But I just, this is just the way I talk. I say bro, that's, I call her little bro, but that's my little sister though. So there's no beef. I got love for all y'all. <laughs> so that was my next that? question. Yeah. So Hello? how do you feel about the LGBT community? You have a gay friend. I don't have a gay friend, man. You have a gay friend. You I said not, you were I not, not. I do not have a gay friend. Don't put that on one of my friends. You said one of your. I never said that. Stop. <laughs> no. What's up with you? Okay. That? Whatever. So how do you feel about the LGBT community? I don't feel no way. But like, like you're cool. Like, yeah, bro, listen. You respect all my friends. My I respect. don't judge nobody. Because who am I to judge, bro? I'm not God. So at the end of the day, you like what you like. You love who you love. That's not. It has nothing to do with me. She is who she is. I am who I am. Nothing makes her different from me, bro. Is what it is. We still got blood. That's This is my blood, bro. So gay, straight, pink, green. Don't care. As long as you respect him, that's he'll it. respect you. That's all, that's, that's all it is. Um, I want to ask this question, but I don't know how you're going to take it. It's, offensive not, it's not nothing offensive, but I just want your honest opinion because you're a straight male. And, you know, there's like a lot of controversy going around. Like, if a straight male, or someone who considers themselves no straight. No fight. And they're dating a trans Ooh, woman. Mm -hmm. What do you consider them? If a straight man is dating a trans. If a straight man is dating a transgender woman, what do what would you personally consider it, and like why? Oh, you trying to get me canceled? <laughs> I'm not trying no, to get you canceled. Get canceled. I feel like everybody has their own opinion about it, but I know we bumped heads a lot on that specific topic, so. I definitely want to know, um, like, what's your views on that? Because your views may not be everyone's views, and everyone's views may not be yours. I don't know, like, you know, I feel like this. Okay, so I told you I was dating a straight guy, correct? Mm -hmm. I told you the guy, that, you're blocking me. Like, can I get some cameras Bro, on too? Like, come on, babe. Like, like, come on. Um, we have grease, so we can put grease. You ain't even turn it on. No, I, 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 I usually use um, you know, I'm a hot spray. Um, okay, yeah, so I was recently dating, I wasn't exclusive, but I was dating a straight guy, and the straight guy considered himself straight, and um, he's dabbled with a trans girl before, according to him, only one before me, and before that it was straight cisgender biological woman, so I'm like, you know what, you call yourself straight, granted, cool, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm gonna just sound crazy. How do you? Like, what is your? What is? Yeah. Um. I don't know. Like, you know, I feel like there's different ways to view it because. Hi. What's going on? Look at the tip, bros. 
I feel like whatever is different ways, like because the way that we grew up is if you a straight man and you deal with somebody that has a man's body part, whichever the case is, we as straight men we look at that as being gay. gay. Right. Right? But being that times change, it's really a judgment free zone. So it's like you just like whatever you like. So yeah, you built like a woman now. Mm -hmm. You got all the stuff that whatever a woman has, but you still have a male part as well. So there's nothing wrong if he consider himself being straight because he look at you as a as a, a full grown woman. Right. That's cool, bro. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing wrong with that, but everybody gonna have an opinion. Everybody has an asshole too, so what that means? This is what it is. So let's say you arguing with a nigga and you know he's dating a tranny or a trans woman. Like is that something you would hit below the belt with to like get him fessed up? Like my nigga please, like you date a trans girl, like or you you like you gay, like. Who me? <laughs> like, I don't even argue, bro. <laughs> no, I don't do shit like that. I'll probably just snap on him like when he got back on, like Yeah. If it's like, you know, if his get up and all that is like trash, but I'm like, oh nigga, you I can't. You, you, I can't. You, you would say you definitely like bussy. You said oh, that. Oh, yeah. Niggas, that's, like, that's what. That's, he calls it a boy. Thought, thought, so it's a bussy. It is what it is, though. Niggas, niggas like boy ass. Like, that's, what, that's what it is. Like. <laughs> I have a boy's ass, right? Pause. Oh, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. Like. But, and you know, see, it's, not, it's no controversy. And it's I'm no just. Offense, yeah, no offense, no offense or nothing. And I'm laughing because this is my brother. And this is really how we talk, like, on a regular basis. And. I'm just so transparent and so real and so honest. And it's like, we can talk about things like this without me getting offended because I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable within the people that I date and stuff like that. So everybody got their own feelings. If that's how you feel, then you know that's how you feel. So you heard it here first from a straight man's perspective. And then again, truth be told, I can't even disrespect a man who dated trans because my little sister is trans. What I look like trying to offend her. It just don't make sense. Like, right. Nah, bro. Y'all niggas like what y'all like. Y'all love what y'all love. Salute to y'all. There's yeah. nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Love come in many shapes and forms, bro. So it is what it is. So with that being said, I'm setting up a blind date game with nothing but trans women, and I would love for you to be a contestant. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Nah, nigga, I'm taking it. <laughs> Good answer. I'm, I'm taking it. So he doesn't like Sasson because it has too much salt. So I didn't season the chicken with Sasson, but I put everything else literally that you could think of. So I would have normally put Sasson and made my chicken get orange and have some color to it, but he can't, so. So the noodles are boiling. I also wanted to do this thing called like shot o'clock where in between like, conversations and different things like that we just take a shot but he's being boring and doesn't drink i don't drink either oh stop lying i don't i haven't drunk since my birthday but before that i was two months clean on drinking that's like last week my nigga bye my birthday was like what three weeks ago that's like last week two weeks ago but um I'm gonna still take a shot. I thought my sister was supposed to be making pina coladas, but my dumb self left the mix and everything in the house. So, I'm I mean, go, in the supermarket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get it. Oh, you're gonna go get it? Yeah. Okay. Maki, come here, baby. So, this is the new addition to the family. Um, let me put a shirt on him. I just bought him some shirts. I just ordered a stroller and a cardigan because I'm going to be taking care of him most of the time while they're both at work. Yo. Come here, Ma. What? Ma. What are you looking for? So I have a little car seat that connects uh -huh. to the back seat of the car. Uh -huh. And um, the, the stroller part folds up. So we're definitely going to be vlogging and walking with Maki. I'm trying to... um. Oh, that's what I also wanted to say. All proceeds and the money that I make off of these shirts and these sweaters is going to help build my YouTube channel even more. Like, I did to my own pocket. I bought the um, earphones, the iPad. I bought um, another phone for greater quality. What else did I get? I got the headphones I mentioned. I just went today in um, B&H and showed you guys I bought the tripod, which was like $175. Um... What else? I bought something to stick on my windowsill so we can talk in the car for like car rides and stuff. So 
all proceeds and donations and purchases, she's all of that lying. money. She's lying. It's all going to me. It's all going to me. All of all that the money, money you make is going to me. Bro. All of that money is definitely going towards updating my equipment. I'm trying to get this camera that I've seen. They want like $1,700 for that. But it's really, really cool and dope and it gets hey. everything. Um, you can't be in the kitchen, Bubba. That's what I was trying to Come here. Come, say hi to the people. Wait, where are you going? Say hi. Say hi. Look at the people. Yes, look at this baby. Hi. Say hi, people. Say hi. 76,000 people on YouTube. Yes, I'm Macchiato. And this is my baby who spoils me. I spoil you, little baby. I spoil you, little baby. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. This right here. Devil That's beans. what I was looking for the cup. Where's that red cup? Well, you only got black. So I'm gonna just be sipping the entire time. Let me wash my hands first before y'all start in a comment. Yeah, because you touched the door. Yeah. Did you flip the chicken? I did. Wash your hands in the bathroom. Not in this kitchen sink. And then you raise her like this? No, I doubt that. You raise her like this, mother? Um, so that. explain our relationship growing up. Like, how was our relationship? It was beef. Always. Because you was a little badass kid. He ain't never want to give me no money. Yo, like, so much for him story time my, real quick. Why you story so time? much for being my father. Story time. And keep in mind, for y'all who don't know, my father passed away when I was three. And you were nine mm -hmm. or he was going on nine my father oh, no, had a ten. going on ten my father had a brain aneurysm or a brain tumor he didn't have enough oxygen flowing through the brain or whatever so rest in peace daddy we love you um but yeah so my mom's been a single mom since the age of three so that's since about, was three since i was three and he was ten well, nine, so three, 25, 12 years. No, 20, what? 22 lot. years. 22 years she's been a single family. A lot of years. 22 years. I don't know what school she went to. Math a little. My math's a little off. Math a little shaky. Go ahead, story time. While so, I pop this bottle. She talk about, oh, but what kind of father, but what kind of brother don't give me no money? So look. I know you're not talking about the time I stole. You stole from me. No, you Why? took it. Yes, Why? you did. So, Girl, you don't even at, remember. at one point in time, me and her were sharing a room, right? And um, Well, we've shared the room our whole life because growing up, we were two boys. Yeah. And so when you apply for an apartment, the only way you can get more than a two-bedroom would be if you had a boy and a girl. Yeah. So if my mom applied to somewhere now and we were living together, I'll have my own room, he'll have his own room, and she'll have her own room. But we always only qualify for two bedrooms. So my mom had her own space, and then we had to always share a room. I mean, I came, I'm not going to say I came from the struggle, but I feel like my story doesn't define me. Like, growing up, we slept on twin beds. Um, you know, like, the regular black family, I don't want to say tradition, but, like, it's what a lot of black families went through. We've been on welfare, FSI, and all of that, but it's no shame in public assistance at all. Like, people used to try to throw that against me, like, oh, yeah, your mom's on SSI, or you get an SSI check, and, like, to me, that's corny. Because I wish I had one. how dare you try to disrespect me and the things that I've been through growing up. Like, my mom did everything she possibly can to give us the life that we possibly deserve. Okay. And it came in handy. I got a, I used to get an SSI check up until the age of 18. That was like $800 a month. She got an SSI check. We always had food stamps and stuff. So she always made sure we had a roof over our head, food in our stomachs, a place to lay our head and stuff like that. So she did the best that she could. And for that, I want to say thank you and cheers to you. You're welcome. We, we love, love you. you. Cheers to you. We love you, too. It broke down. Yeah. Do you want to tell her to get some more? No, uh, I have more. You can't probably let it boil you for that long. Oh, no, why? Because it's, it's ready to it's cook. Ready it's ready to cook. cook. You weren't supposed to boil it. No. You weren't supposed to just put it in the pan. But then, but then I can't roll it, though. You know. I can't roll her. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh. Yeah, this shit is some color. 
Can I get back to story time? Yeah, go ahead. So story time. So boom, right? So my mother was giving me money for like school and everything. This is this is not that though. <laughs> she was giving me money for like school and stuff, right? So I went outside to play ball with my friends or whatever the case was. I had thirty bucks in my little drawer with like my little boxes and socks and shit. I come back in the crib. I'm like, yo, where the fuck is my money at? Where my money at? My money. She goes, listen, I don't know. I didn't go in the room. So you mind if I use your old your old name? Nigga, don't play with me. I'm not, yeah. Yes, I mind. My name is Ann. It's always been Ann. Like, <laughs> what? I ain't that transparent. Oh, all right. <laughs> like, so I was like, Ma, where is Ann? And she was like, Say oh, it. Where is Ann? Where is Ann? <laughs> and she was like, oh, she's outside or whatever the case is. I'm like, all right, bet. But just think in like, for, like, he back in the day. So where is Ange? Where is he? So Right. So I'm like, yo, where the fuck is she at? Or whatever. So I go outside and I'm going and I'm going to the court to go play ball with my friend. And I see Ange and her two friends with a box of pizza. And Snapple. A pizza box. <laughs> Snapples and like two bags and like chips and shit. And I'm like, yo, where you get money from? And they're like, oh, one of my friends' um, mom had gave me one, had gave us money and da da da. I'm like, yo, I'm missing dirt. I'm I'm missing money from the drawer. Oh, I have no idea. I swear to God, I swear to Daddy. Or she's always saying, I swear to Daddy. Lying. right, mom? Back in the day, I yeah. used to lie when I used to swear to my yeah. father. But now today, like if a person won't believe me and like I put it on my father like now growing up and realizing how serious that shit is like don't play with my father even though I barely knew him like that bitch don't play on my father and that's real shit like don't play with him I'm sorry don't play with daddy so she be like yo I'm gonna my I'm gonna daddy lying straight lying right bro when I tell you then she went in her pants and had changed she's like look this is this this is it had a wild change, bro. Then bought more chips and shit for her friends. And then one day we was going back and forth about something in the crib. And she's like, and that's why I took your fucking money. I'm like, what? You took my money? I don't recall all of that. Bro, that's because she drank this. <laughs> that's well, because, I that's because that she drank this. She don't remember nothing. But... That's just how me and her was as kids. Like, when we were younger, we didn't really hang out a lot. No, he always used to be embarrassed. And if we're gonna keep oh, it real, let's keep it. Oh, yeah, let's really keep it a stack. Let's keep it a stack. Okay. I right. was always flamboyant as a boy, so I all I never knew I was gonna be a girl one day, but I always knew I was gay. And I came out when I was like nine years old or ten, and I just sat on my mom's bed one night. She used to sleep in the living room in our first one bedroom no, apartment. We could go. We could go even before that. We always knew it was something. I'm going to post some boy, some baby pictures of me in here. I got baby pictures. I'm going to throw some baby pictures. But I'm in folders like this. I'm like this. Like always like very just very flamboyant. All the time. So that's how we knew it was a little sugar in that tank. But no you one ever me? addressed But no one ever said, like, yo, you like, or are you like this? Like, we just was like, okay, you could drink, you could drink it. So we just, so we just walked, like, we just danced around it. But we all knew that Ange was a, a special child. You know, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, a special Ange? No. Well, no. that too. She's right. fine. So whatever, whatever. So she's right. At first, grow like I said, when you grow up in the hood, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like being gay was like something that 
niggas that make fun of you. Like, oh, and you we can't. ain't never lived in the projects. Oh, we always can't. lived across the street from the project. Right. So but we wasn't from there, but we were from there. But like we always hung out in the, in the projects, right? So when there's somebody who's gay, you would make fun of them, but they're not. This is just how we was brought up. Not well, our not parents, one, well, right? By, well, by not but our just mother, our friends but and like, everything that we see. It's like, oh, look street. at the little gay nigga. That's yeah, the like, F word, yeah, like, like stuff like a, that. That's how the street would bring would bring us up. It, the streets would make would make you think that if you was gay, it was something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? So being a young kid, I'm and then when I'm around all of my street friends, right. or whatever the case is, and they're all and straight. And then you come out and you wanna. I want to play jump rope. I want to. He like, used to be in the basketball court playing like five on five with his friends, and I come with all the girls, like all of the baddies. Though, keep in mind, I'm the only little boy with the mohawk, like ten feet tall. And her shirt was like this. Like you know how you put the shirt like that with a basketball short right. on. Like, like I was, I was, I was that. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> insane, bro. That's so nuts. I would walk into the basketball court. I'm like, Bird Albert. And he's just looking at me like, my nigga, like, you just you always doing? doing the most, like, but, I'm out there jumping rope with the girls and everything, acting like I had titties, like, bro, I'm, like, if I'm playing ball, and she, she, this is she knew, it's something that she did to get me mad, while I'm playing ball, she's on the side of the court, about to hop into the rope like this. Watch this, and da 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 I'm like, yo, bro, come on. So I would curse at her or say things because I had too much pride as a young kid because I wanted to look cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, like as like a young kid, you just wanted to look cool and grow. You know what I'm saying? But and being at the time, I had a little brother. I wanted her to play ball with me and and do bigger, bigger of a brother, little brother stuff. You know what I mean? But. As time grew on, he was jumping real, um, jumping roofs with our cousins and friends from the block. Like I was never that type. I was always around my mom with the women. So I also feel like that played a part in. I don't want to say it played a part in me being gay, no. but definitely catching on to like the flamboyant and women tendencies. Like I call my mom's hip every single time mm. I'm outside. So I'm around her, her sisters. Her friends, like all of the girls, all of the women, listening to them talk they stuff and all of that. So, so then yeah, but then as as we grew up and she came out, I had realized, look, like look, at the end, at the end of the day, gay, straight, whatever it is, it's not gonna change the fact that that's my blood. So if niggas don't like it, then you don't got, then you don't gotta like me. Right. At the end of the day, so. And whatever ever since then, we've been cool. Everything's been straight, like, we've been cool. So, it's, it's no beef. Yeah. I also feel like being young, I used to be real disrespectful. Like, I used to bad mouth. You gave me a black eye, bro. I never, you keep talking. Mom, you seen me a black eye before? Yeah. When? You ran like this full speed. And, and hit you in your you eye. Didn't, you didn't write in my eye. You broke glass in my eye. We were standing outside. Yes, and I always say this. He was outside one day. And Turn we used to fire down. We used to have, um, we used to have like these bars in the apartment building, but it had a glass. Berto's on the inside, I'm on the outside of it, so I'm banging on the door like, let me in, let me in. He want to play all day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then he's banging the glass like, nigga, I'm not letting you in, I'm not letting you in. Then the glass shattered. I had glass in my eye. My uncle, thank God, he was a super on the block. He had to get the holes and like spray my eye and everything. Remember when I threw a bag of shit at you? What? No. I threw a bag of dog shit at you no, and it, no, it popped no, up in the air. No, you don't remember? No, no. I promise you, like, he don't remember anything. He want to remember what he want to remember. Who the want to remember that? Exactly. That's when you first bought those Nike Olympics, them Uptown Olympics. Remember them blue oh, ones? Yes. 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 We was on the block and you was with your friends and we was like play fighting or something. And I wound up throwing the bag of shit in the air and it busted no. in the air. Remember that time? I had to a pillow and you fell off a bed. You started crying and your leg was like mad fat and puffy. No. <laughs> like niggas be saying anything. Uh, I'm so proud. Well, yeah. how old are you for the record? I'm 25. I'm a girl, why? Why? I don't even know my age for. I'm just asking. Like, what's your I'm age? I'm young. Young and reckless? No, I'm not, I'm not young and reckless. Young and responsible. That's what Have I'm you doing. ever been arrested? I've been handcuffed a bunch of times. Arrested though. Handcuffed why? Just the wrong place at the wrong time. 
That's all. Wrong place, wrong time. Right, Mom? Yeah, protect your family. Yeah, wrong place, wrong time. Put down the table. It's not going to wash out this bowl. So he's also going to be making his famous. What's the word? Uh, sauce? No. His famous. Self proclaimed. Untasteful. You're a hater. <laughs> Alfredo sauce. Like he swears it should be a wine, but. I'm not going to lie. Ange cook her stuff, her food in the sink. So she cleans it and sees her stuff in the sink. You're lying. They She's just see broke. me season it in a bowl. That is because you're here and you this for the camera. Bye, Alberto. So chill. You you clean your meat and season it all in the same sink. That's not true. Ma, right? No. Stop trying to bring mommy in. Ma, Ma, right? Mommy in it. That's right. Don't Ma, right? Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. Don't bring me in. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. no. So tell us about the time that um you had an altercation in school. And you had to bring your mom in. What happened that time? Oh, this is a own, legendary story. To my own um, in first grade. Yeah, PS one forty six. Shout out to grade. all my East Harlem girls. Yeah. PS one forty six. Let's do that one. So basically, we had a school trip, right? Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure about like how y'all took us to school. Like when y'all took us to school, you guys had a. A ham and cheese, a turkey and cheese. Macchiato. Hey, hey, Maki, I don't know how y'all do when y'all have school lunch, like for like a school trip, but I brought like a being where I'm from as a big kid, I didn't do a regular ham and cheese or turkey and cheese. Did they didn't fill you up? That shit wasn't good enough. I had, <laughs> right, Ma? Mm -hmm. I had pork fried rice. Yep. That is a fact. We ate. I ate for, for my school trip. I'm over here and this liquor is coming and I feel it like in my system. You took a shot of clock without me? Oh, girl, we, when we said, um, so shout out to you, mom, for doing the best you could do, we took a shot. Oh, she didn't come get your shot, girl. I gotta get up. Girl, I don't know what you're laying down for. Come forth. Tell, tell us your fighting experience when yeah, you were young. Oh, so look, so look. So this. This some this this right here plays into it into like a little fighting shit whatever. Okay. So the day before the school trip, her and my dad go and get me all the pork fried rice and chicken wings, right? I uh, never. F I'm not gonna say the woman's name, but it was in first grade, and I don't know why, but she didn't like me, bro, because I talked too much in class. So I was like. I'm like, bro, I'm a kid. Like, we supposed to talk in school, bro. I'm a kid. I made jokes, whatever case you ever. She did not like that shit. Oh. So, I went home. My mom signed a slip for me to go on a trip. Can we get a house tour? No. No. Oh, like, bro. this house is so beautiful, I never want to leave. You're in the camera, man. They can see you. Say hi. Hello, everybody. But you have go to ahead, Birdo. So, back to the story. Sorry, I keep on interrupting. This, this, um, this chicken in school, she did not like me. I don't know why. So, I got the slip sign to go on a school trip. And my mom goes to get me my, my rice and my chicken wings the night before. Packs my, my um, little lunch bag. She got the Chinese food the night before. Yeah. So, I go to class. I'm out hyped to go on a trip with my friends. She goes, everybody make a line. Except you. Mm. Talk about you. Talk about me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, we can put the other chicken in the microwave. Oh, that's what I had this for. Right. So I'm like, I don't understand. Like, why? Like, why can I go on a trip? She's like, because I said so. So sit here in this classroom, and I was like, but there's no one here. She goes, someone will come and pick you up. So she left me in the classroom by myself, bro, by myself. So she leaves. So then, what? But they. So the class for like the class leaves, mm -hmm. and I'm just sitting there with my lunch, my fried rice, and my wings. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And I'm just wow pissed off. But in 20 minutes, mm -hmm. the kids are walking back into the classroom, <laughs> and they like, yo, man, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? I'm like. What did I do? Like, I'm stuck here. 
I'm stuck in the classroom. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? They was like, bro, your mom. <laughs> your mom, bro, your mother. I'm like, my mother? They was like, bro. Your mom, mommy. your mom, so but the way that the way that the story was told to me from my mom was the class was walking past my crib. Now my mother and father was outside, right? Oh wait, he was asleep. Yeah. Y'all left me in the house at a baby's age sleep. I was in the crib. Be quiet. So wow. <laughs> my mom and dad was outside. Yes. Now if you don't know, the school is like down the block from my crib. Literally across the street, but right. on the other side of the street. And the nearest bus stop is across the street from my crib. So the so the kids in this in the class, she had to walk past my house to go to the bus stop. And they, she knew they were, my father and my mom knew he was going on a trip. So Correct. that's why they were standing yeah. outside. And being that I'm, that I'm the biggest kid in the classroom, I'm supposed to be in the back of the line. She you didn't see me. Then? Did or I have hair? No, I think you I had a little fro. Like yeah, a little fro. Oh, okay. And she didn't see me. So she goes to my dad and was like, Tito, where the fuck is our son at? I'm like, I have no idea. So she goes across the street and goes, excuse me, where the hell is my son? And what happened? The teacher said, he's not going. I said, you telling me he's not going after you told me that he can go and I signed the permission slip? Well, he ain't going. Ain't nobody going. Real I said, shit. you got some shit with you. Real shit. He said, this is the only time you always playing with my son, messing with my son. Nobody else. So boom, right? So then, so then whatever had occurred, it occurred, right? Mm -hmm. So then the kids tell me that my mom Wait, screamed on the no. listen. No. Wait, what occurred? No. Let's do that one. The kids cause the kids told me my mom screamed on the teacher so bad she passed out. Like she passed out. Yeah. She got so afraid my mother she seized up and passed out at the bus stop. Look, my fault. Gang, ain't nobody going. Nope. Nobody, nobody went. going. That's the way it goes. Nobody went. I don't know what she went. thought. I don't know what she thought, but Niggas ain't going that trip. We all had our lunch in the classroom. <laughs> and they was all Let's mad because I had fried rice and beans. Let's do that one. Do that one. Let's do that one. Do that one. Yeah, one. do that one. <laughs> I love that. So talk about me growing up in school, Mom. Like, what was going, like, how was I in school? No, I'm not doing that. Hmm. Why? Because every other week I was in school for you. I'm going to keep it honest because I know I'm transparent. Every other week. Thank God, nowadays, they got a shot from my mom's back. It's a cortisone shot. That's what you get, right? Mm -hmm. It's a cortisone. Let me, let me push her over here so she can get it inside. So they have a cortisone shot now, and she gets it once every three months because she has a herniated disc. She has surgery, so they have to cut her back open, cut through her stomach, and do all of that surgery for screws and stuff so she can stand up straight and, you know, whatever. When we were younger, I'm going to throw a picture in there too. I'm like six years old. Birdo's only like, if I'm six, you're like 12, 13. She's at graduation. Yeah, come make the drinks, girly. Put your hoodie on. <laughs> Incognito, do that one. Let's do that one. That's my sister. But like I said, she owns three branches. So <laughs> she cannot be on camera like that. So she's the bartender, though. Always making the drink. Um... So because she had herniated disc and stuff and the cortisone shots wasn't out, I guess, back then, or she just didn't qualify, she used to pull up to our school with the cane. So there's no way that I'm in middle school and I got my 38-year-old, 40-year-old mom coming to school with a cane. So they was like, oh, who mom is that? Like everyone always knew when someone's parent is in, like someone's in trouble because you're not calling no parent to the school if the kid ain't in trouble. Uh -huh. So they like, oh, who mom is there? I'm like, mom. I'm like, that's my grandma. <laughs> they like, that's your grandma. I'm like, yeah, that's my grandmother. And I just used to be so embarrassed because I'm like, I used to see, not nah, she was, she was pretty, like long Puerto Rican hair down her back. She always had hips. Like her body used to look I like mine. Hips, but I didn't have no long hair down my back. Cut it out. It wasn't that long, but girl, your hair was like right here. That's down your back. Mm. Um. What you would call it. So I just fake used to be embarrassed. Like everyone's parent is walking up here with 
Jordans on and Pele Pele's and Mermots, and then mm -hmm. you got my mom with a long funeral and a big ass sweater, on. big ass coat, <laughs> like penny loafers, coat, thinking that she's in like a mob, like a mob or something. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Like you mob wife, like <laughs> and a trench coat and slippers, fraud. That's all I wanted to say. Keep talking though, like let them get to know y'all. Talk about the fight on 106 when you got with everybody. Up? I got beat up. Oh, so the boys? I'm not talking about me. Oh, you talking about me? Then I didn't get beat up, okay? Uh, you talking about who? Oh, With all mother? the girls. Oh, because it's people, moms that, that you know, yeah, who are involved that, you know what I'm saying? See that alone. Long story short, Yeah. a Dominican woman said some racist shit. My mom yeah, wasn't with Dominican it. Because she was Dominican. Don't, don't try to come for Dominican. She was Dominican. Oh, oh she's yeah. confrontational. Do that one, your A Latina woman, better? Better. Said some racist shit to my mom. Pause, because I mean, um, Cynthia. Hold on. Huh? My mom told her to step outside. And because she said some shit about my mother in Spanish. About a black lady. Right. I didn't know that my mom speaks. She speaks understand. it, but understands it as well. So when my mom had heard it, she said, what? Step outside. Step outside, I'm going to beat the shirt on. But like, the whole block was fighting. Like, my mom, my godmother, my aunt Shane was, she was giving up. Like, it was nuts. Somebody got knocked out on that block too. But oh, sorry. Hi. You want the chicken? So this is what the chicken is looking like. Delicioso. Maki. You want to taste it? Take a deep. Wait, that's the chicken? Yeah, all the chicken. It was a little piece in here that I had one in. Tasting like summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought she was talking about the, the um, fight she had on the blog. What's that boy name in the front? Aaron. The kid on the blog. I don't know his name. Mm. We went to after school together. Probably like Anderson or something. Yeah, it was, it was like some like weird shit. But yeah. You put Henny in it? Yeah. It was funny as hell. Yeah. So explain after school since I got beat up. It wasn't like you got beat up, but like your hands. Let's what, do your that hands one. Are, let's do that let's one. Do Merch that's gonna be dropping. Everyone throw your L's. Shout out to the new merch. We're gonna sell out and go global. <laughs> International. Go global. International. Go global. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. You taste the chicken? Hey, no barking. No barking. But, uh, hmm? You taste the chicken? No, I'm ready to make you the sauce. It. Go ahead. We ready for your thing. That's your piece. But you guys have to cut it up and shred it, no? Stop hating. How do you do that? I'm, I'm, trying, to just cut, I'm trying to just cut it up. Did you wash your hands when you came in? I washed my hands before yeah, I First of all, that. not nasty over here trying to actively <laughs> wash your hands. So what happened with me and the boy? So I think I just got I just got I, um I just got to the block with me and my men mm -hmm. from school and then you was outside and then some boy came up to the block and was like, What's up? or whatever. And he dropped his like bag. And he dropped his like bag and he asked to fight you. And I think you had hair at the time. Right? Inch had hair. Like curls. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they start fighting. But Inch used to fight like this. Like. I used to fight like that. Like this, bro. And the nigga grabbed you by like the by like your little hawk and he popped on you, but then you start getting your little kicks and rails in. But then when he got he started whooping your ass a little too much, I'm like, yo, 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 chill, chill. I'm like, yo, chill, man. Like, fuck That's man. back then though. Let a bitch step to me now. Like, yeah, bitch is 30 out here. You feel me? All right, put him down. But uh -huh. yeah, I'm not I'm still not no fighter. Like I'ma defend myself, but I don't go out looking for trouble. I feel like I spent too much body on myself to look the way I do, body right, everything nice. For me to be out here fighting. <laughs> what happened, girl? They body right, everything nice? Listen, that sounds good. Body right, everything nice. Finish cutting up. 
I'm not I'm cutting. We need to have water. How are you going to make the cut? I got to make the sauce. So what are you doing? I need the sauce to be done. The noodles is done. We just got to lay the noodles yeah, down. Yeah, but just cut the chicken up. The sauce not going to take long. Fam. But we don't put the chicken in the sauce. Why not? <laughs> That's not how you do it. They base the oh, noodle in it, right? They base oh, the noodle with the sauce. You know what you forgot? The spinach. Mm -hmm. Ricotta cheese. And we that, walked, and you ain't asked me. I said, that's her father and that's her cream cheese. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. He oh, like, oh, said, she bought cream cheese. Who? He, well, he wanted cream cheese. I need the cream oh. cheese for the sauce. I, I said, Aunt Palio. You ain't say that. Yes, I did. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So oh, it's going to work, huh? Yeah, is something in there? Yeah, a little. Hopefully it's not bad. A little goes a long way. <laughs> A little bit right. a long way. All right, go for the throw. She said cut the chicken up first. Whatever I'm doing over here has nothing to do with what he has to do over there. Explain your sauce and like what you're doing. I'm not going to explain it. It's just a regular Alfredo sauce. But it's home-based Alfredo. It's, it's not home -based. What's home-based? Home What's home-based? Home it's made home -based. Home -based. We got a hole in it. Ew, you're thin. Yes, you on camera. Alfredo sauce? You need some cream cheese. Tell it to the camera. Tell it to you. Oh, I don't do that. She don't even eat up. And that's why. I don't do that. I need some cream cheese, guys. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm, um, what's that show? Rachel Ray. Byron, Byron, Byron. Oh, Guy Fieri. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's we'll just add the whole thing. Yeah, just add the whole Cooking thing. Cooking really ain't my forte, add. but I do what I can do. Yeah, not ants. Stay right there. That's the good. fire is too hot, first of all. Girl, please. Hey, why are you stopping me from talking? I'm not. I'm just showing the back of Birdo's shirt. Oh. So it's like a chrome. So from different angles, you'll get a pink, you'll get a green, you'll get a blue. I'm definitely going to put it in the middle of the shirt, though, and not just the top back. Hey, yo, I Did you get your camera tag? Hey, yo. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Let's do that one. Uh, do that one with Titi. Let's do that one. You also need some half and half the more so. heavy cream. Heavy cream right there. It was supposed to be salmon at first, but Birdo didn't want salmon. I've been eating fish all week. All right, what other questions do you have? What have you asked so far? Okay, we have to have some interesting questions. Talk about, did you talk about how y'all really didn't like each other when y'all were younger? I said that, and then and you grew up to become... But how did that happen? We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're single and we're colored. Give me a hug. Cut and break. We forgot. Y'all know that. Didn't think about that. No, girl, hit my call. So wait, so did, you, oh, what, the, did the you talk woman. about how did you get through like accepting her? Yeah. There was nothing to get through with. It. It's just that it. I just, just, just grew up. Yeah. Alberto, please. What do you mean? Let's talk about the time when you first met me. So Berta was bringing home a new girl for like the seventh time. <laughs> <laughs> and never got to see her until the eighth time. What? What? <laughs> This was the whole joke. I did. 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 I he was like, um, yeah, like she's coming over to the house. And so we're like, all right, like we've been through this before. We know how this goes. Like the girl's gonna come in. She's gonna be so shy. She's gonna introduce herself. So I'm like, let me run downstairs first. And like open the door, I had a doobie. So I wasn't transitioning at the time, but I was very still a flamboyant boy and I had like hair and stuff like that. We had a doobie and a shape up. No, we got a backtrack. When I used to talk to Berto over the phone, Berto used to like get into arguments. So Berto would be like saying to her, yo, my gay ass brother. And I'm like, stop, that's not nice. Like, why would you say that about your brother? And Berto's like, nah, he really is gay. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was coming over for the first time, you came downstairs. Your hair was wrapped and you had a colorful, colorful bobby bobby pin. pin. So yeah, I'm like, I was going now, out leotard. Right. And Berto and told tight me. tight ass jeans at the age of 13. Yeah, Berto told me I was only going to come home and meet his mother and his sister. So when you came down, I'm like, yo. Brother. You, you, yeah, his mother and his brother at the time. So when 
when you came downstairs, I'm like, all right, you told me it was gonna be your mother and your brother. Like, who's this? A cousin? Cause you didn't look like a boy at all. Like, you look like a female. So I was like, oh my god, like she really is gay. And she really looks like a girl. <laughs> oh my god. She was like, how? How are you? Hi. How are you? Nice yep. to meet you. And she did a complete 360. You used to wear weaves back in the day. Like you always loved, her hair used to be all jet black. She used to do like 28 inches right above the ass crack. And she's so bougie. <laughs> and this is why I call her bougie. She's so bougie. Like she never got hair from the beauty supply store. She never ordered hair like online from people's hair vendors. It's this one hair vendor in Harlem that weighs the hair by the ounce, right? You get like ounces. And like, she's spending like $1,200, $1,500 on ounces of She used to go to, she's like, I'm going to DR this week. Like, I have to go buy a few ounces of curl. Oh, <laughs> no. <Right? laughs> but like, this is the girl that I was talking about, my sister in the Turn video. The fuck around. Answering on um, the phone and doing all of that stuff for me. Like, we're so grateful that you're in our lives. Yes, Aww. she's the best. You're the best that's she ever touched down. Yes. She's a keeper. Definitely. I mean, well, she ain't going nowhere. Sure. Yeah. They got a condo, they got a dog, baby on the way. Like, come on. <laughs> she's a keeper. But yeah, for sure. So she's so only one way out of this life. Murder. 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 <laughs> murder. Uh, <laughs> murder. 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 <laughs> she swears she know Nicki Minaj song because I be playing that. Like, girl, why? Maki, you trying to bite your feet? La la, scolly. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. No, no, meet me. I always. So, Alfredo sauce, me some so we'll see you in a few parmesan, minutes. some cream cheese, some half and half, some pepper, some Italian seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. And since we're part Sicilian, so what are we? I when people ask me. What's your nationality? I'm black, Puerto Rican, Italian, and Bayesian. My favorite, let me just tell y'all this. My favorite teacher name is Miss Murphy, and she's from Barbados. So I used to call her my mom at a point in time. What does that have to do with you? I take on her Bayesian. How do you, you can't adopt somebody else's nationality? I take on her Bayesian. So. She ain't the key yet? She, she ain't signed down. Black, Puerto Rican, Italian, and Bayesian. We're mm -hmm. Spaniard. Can you pull me another question? Where's, where's, whoa. I got her. They just blow my phone up today. What's that about? African American. Oh. And. Macchiato. We're in Great Sicilian. Back there. Back there. Back there. Back there. I never had no Alfredo was on you. I was rolling, I was scrolling through Instagram and I'm like, what is going to be a good video? And I seen salmon rolls and I was like, bitch, yeah, let's do this. He was like, yeah, better, let's do that, bro. Oh, what, yo, you want to tell me the story about the time that you went to um, Splish Splash? What happened? You got afraid that you walked away to the... She ate it off the fork? I told you. Off the fork. Off the fork. What do you think that me for? Because did you ask? Why? I'm I want to know how you got into, like... Cause like the, what, what is it that the fans want to know? Thank you, sweetie. I thought it was going to be more fancy and like cut the strawberries up, put the strawberries on the side. What does the fans want to know what? About your relationship. I mean, I don't know. I didn't do a question. That's why I'm just trying to like get everything out now so they can just really get more into him. About who relationship? I burned on him. Yeah. It's short and sweet. Me and her did not get along when we was kids because she was a different lifestyle than me. And I thought it was wrong. But that was just me being dumb and young. I thought I was seasoning the sauce. No. Until I grew up. Did you talk about up, how you was there when she had got um, her, what was it, the castration? He was there. He was so, and I was there. I was in the house. Y'all were, was there. Like, no, were not there. I was not there, but I was in the house. And then I stayed at Jason's house. I was in the house. Yo was in the house. And no, you sent me, she said, there was one when she was at the doctor, at the hospital. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's short and sweet. We didn't get a long ass kid. Have you showed them how he goes crazy with you that? No. Oh, no wait, wait. Me and her grew up. Now we're Hi, Titi Baby! You're the Titi Little Pitsy Baby! Hi! Yeah, I got that dough with a 
for some. No, don't put that in no sauce. Alberto, please. I need some seasoning on my sauce. Yeah, they don't do that where we're not talking. Shot o'clock. So I'm going to give y'all like a minute and a half. So if y'all see this, go grab you a bottle. Where's the bottle? Go grab y'all a bottle and go pour yourself a shot. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Me and all of my friends do shot o'clock all the time. Right. Like we'll just be sitting down watching something and I don't know we would be like shot o'clock and then you just pass the bottle around and take your shot. Right, adobo. Exactly. I told him right behind you. It's right. I'm not bugging. It has taste to it. Yeah. Go taste it. Let me taste it. I'm tasting that. Oh, no, I ain't white sauce. Oh, no, like shit, man. Salty. You just need seasoning, nigga. Oh, man. Get off. And get all of that stuff on it, too. Back up. And still off the counter, so when you're finished with that, you have to stop. What are you doing with her gluten free lasagna roll? You want to make herself. Who is this for? Not us. Oh. So yes, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. This is just like us on a regular Sunday. I'm also cutting this hair. I'm gonna go get this taken out sometime this week after this video drops. And I'm going Jade away to short like a pixie cut. I also posted a video yesterday on my Instagram and I asked if y'all see this black eye that I have. Like y'all can see it's black right here. I got eye filler a few months ago and over time like the filler's just been getting black so mm -hmm. i have an appointment tomorrow and they're supposed to dissolve the filler and then i also want to go and get a um chemical pill from poor star i got one before they was like 970 dollars after tax before tax is like 850 and it's amazing but who wants to spend a thousand dollars on a chemical pill so yeah. Made the chicken, stir fried the chicken. This is his sauce. It still has to be stirred from scratch. So then we're gonna baste the pan. We're gonna baste the pan, lay out all of the rolls. Think come on Wednesday after sister. Yo, pop your merch, kid. Pop your merch though. So on a scale of one to ten, how do you like it? What your merch? Yeah. I'll fuck with it. You enjoy your dinner. Is there any black? No, I'll fuck with it. Give me like old school I graphic know. little meat meal t shirt where you had the braids and all that. That tastes real like because it's not from it's not from the jar. That's real cream. Would you guys have the bad emotions thing? Yeah, add uh, that's kind of where did you put the Oh, let's dip each noodle in the sauce. No, that's not what you've seen in the video. Oh, no, we had the one that you could just smoke. Yeah, we need the flat. Not that one, Ange. Yeah, my oh. husband. You. Do you feel like Ange brings you a lot of headaches? Brings you a lot of headaches? No. So me going to prison. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. Me going to prison. How did that affect you? Which is super duper annoying. I was annoying? Like from start to finish, how you found out. Yeah, let's get their experience now. Talk. I got about all what? About um, the last one? I asked if you had gloves. Then you told me no. She never asked her. You I've been asked for gloves after to break up the chicken with my hand. And he was like, yeah. no. Oh, yeah, I said, do not do it with your hands. You know All right, y'all. So this is his feelings on me getting locked up. Like how with how he found out stuff. Oh, so talk about the time when they came to the house? Talk about the time when they came to the house? When they raided her house. Oh, I was on my way home from work. And your mother was like, your mom called me and said, hey, did you hear from Ange? I said, no. And then I got a call from... These shits keep breaking y'all. Okay, no. But I'm You have like four memory. We actually met up when we were on our way home. I was home on my home. I'm right. I'm 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 so you up. come get in the camera and tell your story. Yeah, so I, I met, I, we was on the way home from work. I met her at the bus stop. This is before we put a car. I met her at the bus stop. And she was like, hey, um. Do you want to get off the bus and walk? 
said, she said, do you think what, do you want to take the bus or not just walk on the tour? So I'm thinking, talk about what? Like everything is gone. We're talking about what? Now, at like, that time, I had her location. So I could, I could clearly see that she was already locked up. So I said, sure. Let's and let's the go. other way. This is the and this straight, up and down, up and down. No, no, no. No, no this no. way. Really? Yes. So I said, sure, let's so let's talk. No, you're supposed to mix this inside here. Mix what? The ricotta cheese inside here. Why? So it can stick together. Go ahead, Bird, okay. So she said she said, Oh, would you want to talk? I said, okay, sure. And then she was like, um, I think Ange is arrested. I was like, why do you think that? She's like, because her little her little her location shows her at this place. Unless we take them out when we're done. No, because you gotta do one by one and you gotta roll and you gotta roll it out. But then we're we gonna roll the other on top of it. On the side, bro, okay. All right, go ahead, keep talking. So my sister says she thinks I'm arrested. My she said, I think Angie's in jail. I said, why do you say that? She goes, because of this. I looked and her location was at her prison. I'm calling Angie's phone, calling Angie's phone, calling Angie's phone. I get no response. By the time we make it to the crib, your yeah, mom- to my house. No, we just went to my house. Oh. Your mom calls me. Our mom calls me and says, Oh my God, the FBI is in your house. FBI is in your FBI. You know how you know your mom's father? The FBI. And you're like, Mom, just calm down. I'm like, no, calm down. I'll be there in a minute. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a cab here. I'm on my way. Chill. My nigga, like this is not working. With so then you know what? Then you do that. Do mm-hmm. what? You still, you still I don't want to do that. I got this. No, no. clearly you don't. I do. It's just these fucking noodles. You don't yes. have to add sauce on it. That's what, I'm t- That's what she did. She put sauce the on the noodle, Alberta. Then she sprinkled the salmon on top. Watch the video. So then your mom will be crying. So mom, I'll be there in a little bit. I'm gonna get the cat. I hop in the cab, I get to the crib, it's a whole bunch of FBI niggas there with big ass guns and da 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 They had guns too. They had guns, like these big ass guns. And then it was like, yo, you are? I said, my mom lives here, so that's all you need to know. Right, he was trying to be so aggressive, and I'm like, Brenda, these are federal agents. I don't care. Like, this is not the moment for you to act out of character. That's, my, get- that's my mom's house, you can't tell me to come right. in or I can't do nothing. That's my mom's house. Don't care. Cop, I don't care what you, I don't care, bro. So, I'm like, what's going on? So they they read me the warrant or whatever the case is and all that stuff. Did they, they said what I was getting arrested for? Uh, no, but it had no, what they, it had what oh. they, it had what they was going to look for in the house. Oh. So, whatever the case was. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then I, then I had read it. Then I made one phone call to our uncle. Who is a psychopath? Tony. Yeah, and nobody hates cops more than him. So I said, "Yo, good luck to the crib." You told him to come. That's a fact. He came to the house, right? While the FBI was there. Yeah, that's a fact. You were trying to get that nigga arrested. No. <laughs> that's a, he arrested no. for what? Yes, he's thinking the streets get him. He is set up. No, no, no. So. I just needed a little bit more muscle just in case shit was, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was to go up, bro. So. That's why she did salmon, because salmon is like. So, yeah, what <laughs> Bye. Like a teacher. <laughs> so, I called him and he was like, all right, man, I'll be right there, nephew. I'll be right there. I'm like, all right. And then he came with the same type of energy, bro. And he like, came in there. Yeah, we could survive. He like, yeah, so what the fuck and is going on here? And they try to talk to him and they like, who are you? And he's like, y'all don't need to know who I am. Yeah, he's like, you don't need to know who I am. I'm like, oh my God. These people are like, not sir, so They're like, sir, we need to know my who you are. Where is your boss? And he's like, yo, you don't have to know shit. You need to boil it. You're not supposed to boil it. And did you guys preheat the oven? Yes. Yes. Oh, so we just make yours hard? Yeah. Yeah. It's soft on its own. So my uncle was in there on, so listen, you don't need to know my name or no shit. I'm here and she's my fucking sister host. I was like, yeah. And then Nate was like, sir, 
What are you doing here? <laughs> Clocked their gun. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they was like, sir, what are you doing? He was like, listen, man, I'm here to, you know, just make sure, just make sure that my sister's fine, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, all right, cool. Then we let them do their job, and then that was it. But we didn't hear from you until like a week or so, right? <laughs> I'm like, yo, it's good. He's like, yo, oh my god, brother. <laughs> Stop lying. Brother. You was crying a lot. Was I? Yes. He was like, brother. She didn't know what she was getting arrested for. Yeah, honestly. They he just like, picked her up at the airport. And they tell me she was and like, they tell her nothing. Yeah, you was like, brother. She's been here now for what, 11 or 12 years? So she's been here since I was a little ass boy. So like, really? <laughs> to really watch me grow up into who I am today, like she's like everything, like evictions and everything. Like, we'll get to that. Who was evicted? I was a, we'll get to that. From where? Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you was no, you know what it is? I have two older brothers. I've never had a little sister, and I feel like ever since I came into their lives, Ange has always been like my little sister. That you've always wanted but never had. I kind of never wanted a little sister, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel like every time she gets into trouble, Berto is always like very hardcore. Like he wants to teach everybody a lesson. She got herself into this mess. She gonna get herself out, and I'm like, Okay, but we have but to no, help no, that's her. Not all the, because we have some, to like. Because you understand something. Sometimes you have to learn, bro. You yeah, can't you keep putting learn. yourself in the same shit over and over and expect He's a right. different right. result. You're bro. right. You're right. If you keep doing something, doing something, doing something. Sooner or later, it's going to catch up to you. Yeah. But the that's, thing is, the thing is, hear me out. With her, beautiful. she's a little crazy, but no, she never right. has a bad heart. So I sometimes it, when right? she gets caught Don't into, into, into certain messages, I know you, she's talking. She's saying the most beautiful thing you right. could possibly say I'm about sorry. her. Thing. I can spray this? But yes. Thank you. Basically, she when she gets herself into things, it's sometimes because she's hanging around with the wrong, wrong crowd, crowd. Mm -hmm. or because she's just trying to have fun, living the moment, and not realizing the, the consequences. consequences and we've yeah, all been there we've all been in situations where we don't realize Cap. that you know there might be consequences but mm -hmm. we're, we're there for a good time not a long time mm -hmm. she never does things with ill will she never has a bad heart like she's always trying to help everyone she's always there for everybody so that's the person that i know so that's how i'm always trying to help her oh my god <laughs> No, but definitely. Like, I was making you about your sleeve. So. But she's been here through it all. And you know, sometimes I gotta give her a little bit of advice, but she's a little slow. Yeah. So, if she calls me, you like, yeah, yeah. girl, you <laughs> slow too. Like, you get it from her mama. Thank God it's getting me. He said, girl, you slow too. Thank God it's getting me. She's like, yeah. Please, thank you. Get Maki. Maki not paying attention. Yeah. He's gonna have a field day tomorrow in his stroller car. What time are you gonna pick him up? Whenever the stroller car. Wait, wait. The stroller might not come until the it's afternoon. Monday, though. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'm not picking him up tomorrow. You got a four o'clock appointment tomorrow? Yes. Right. At the yeah, doctor. For huh? what? For a physical or something. Yeah, I don't even need the physical no more. And go to the doctor. Yes. Oh, I don't want to give you know, any, any kind of medication. Nigga, you don't that know what it's for. It was because I was supposed to work for mommy. It was kind of sensitive. 
And we'll check, and check your cholesterol. Yeah. Get my shit is good. Physical. I can show you everything in my blood work. People are so they be hard headed. You're 25. You're not a young chick then. But yeah, so all that. Where's your pasta? Just that. Right there. Oh, but yeah. It affects, it affects whatever everybody in different ways. Mm -hmm. Because while me and her are at work trying to sit there and focus on doing our job, we we gotta think about you mm -hmm. now. We now we concerned about you and, and we couldn't even you right or what they, yeah. and we couldn't even speak we couldn't to you. no we couldn't even find her at first. So we yeah, were true. calling like different prisons because mm -hmm. at that time I don't know where were you in Alabama. She was coming back home. So no no, no. this is what she was in, well it was all throughout but she was in different states because oh. it was commu um, what do you call that commuting, commuting, commuting her or trap like. Not it was trans transporting. transporting her to different uh, transporting. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. makes sense. That's your new thing. That one. Make what? it make sense. Huh? Make it make sense. You know what it never was? Yeah, exactly. That's serious. <laughs> That's serious. <laughs> what? Let's do that one. <laughs> <laughs> she's all over, bro. Yeah, like she's saying everything. But basically, we were calling different prisons trying to find out who's there. Some of them couldn't give us any information. Some of them would look her up and like, yeah, she's here, she's good, but they wouldn't let us speak to her. So that's when it got a little bit complicated. Cause I didn't even have your number. I no, I called Birdo at this first chance I got, cause I always remember Birdo's number by heart. And then I tried to call the house phone, but I was like, damn, that ain't even a good idea, cause you know she don't want to talk to me. So. Miss Teresa was so heartbroken. She was. Cause I was like, she was like, Ange, just come back home safe. And I was like, I got you, I promise. And then I text her like, on my way home, I love you to the moon and back, see you soon. And she's like, love you to the moon and back. She called me like, would you want to come over? I'm making dinner. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm making dinner. No, she was as emotional much as, <laughs> as much as I'm emotional. My eyeballs getting big, baby. <laughs> I'm about to fall out the socket. Yeah, Tuck baby. your eyes, girl. But no much, no matter how much I get on my mom's nerve, like, as much. Why, but, but why, look, look, she's already crying. Why don't you talk about that? Like, why you always get yourself into trouble? Because I get that you're young, you're dumb, you're having fun. But me and Berta, we're young, we're dumb, we, we like to have fun. And we I mean, never I can't, I guess, get into that because I would have to, like, spill yeah, yeah, yeah. certain things. Yeah. And I'm not ready for that. I mean, one day I would love to say, you know, that. But not at the moment but yeah i mean you just grow with life i feel like it's a learning experience and a lot of things are new to me and i'm not oh, really save me this one i'm not really experienced that much maybe like four or five years i mean i don't know you know when you get comfortable <laughs> what you were just doing when you get comfortable and you feel like you've never been caught before or like nothing's ever happened, you feel like you're gonna be good. But like Berto said, you keep on and you keep on, one day that shit is gonna catch up to you. And it just so happened to be, it caught up to me. And now look, a whole life changing experience now. I also got a call at work from a um, CO in what you call it, uh, Alabama, and they were like, um, I'm not going to do the way you talk, but he was like, hey, man, um, did, um, we have your uh, your sister here, and I'm like, yeah. He's like, now um, was uh she born male or? Cause I got no, a different yeah. name here. <laughs> I got um, I got a different name here. Uh, so, uh, yeah. He was like, so let's um, do that one. <laughs> he's like, so um, I gotta know, cause I don't want to put her in the wrong place now. And I'm like, well, my sister is my sister now, but yes, she was born male. He's like, so, so that's uh, why he put me in a men's prison. He's like, he's like, so, um, does, uh, she still have it? And I'm like, have what? He's like, come on now, man. Does she still have that? You know, I was like, oh, yes, yes. He said, well, listen, her doctor did a goddamn good job. All right. I was <laughs> like, hey, yeah. me. swear to God, swear to God. I was like, hey, yo, he's like, he's like, wow, because, whoo. I cannot tell. God damn. I'm like, yo, they freaky down south. God damn. I told you they Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Yeah. I ain't know that. You ain't never tell me that. I'm right here. Yeah. All right, we're done. Look at this. These look good as hell. We got to save Berto for his last um thing. Oh, you still got more Berto? Uh, oh no, we got more chicken. 
That's the whole pack that you bought? Yeah. It don't look like a lot, right? No, it sure don't. This shit only need four. Break that big piece up. It's not break from it. It's just four rolls? Yeah. Uh, that's good. Definitely not. Oh, five. One, two, three, four, five. I need a little more, though. Yeah, I was like, nah, they wild when I saw it, boy. That's what he said. Last one there for me is fine. Oh, it's too late. He said, too late. like the third. Just sauce on top of this and then you're good. Okay. I'm trying to make sure that you are wine and dine. I'm not making you that. Well, mommy can eat the booty. Girl, taste the white um, sauce. Tell the people why you don't like white sauce. Because it looks like. like I took, mm. Bring up. Throw up. Throw up. Looks like a throw up. Well, Ma, a lot of people don't eat white sauce because of that reason. My uncle doesn't like ricotta or nothing like that in the lasagna because it looks like bomb. Who? Joe. So, one thing you guys don't know, and I'm sorry to tell your business, but I'm just going to put it out there. What you putting out? Don't say something stupid. Don't get upset. Tell us about the time. Like, y'all know, know I'm gay and Berto Shree. But she's been a lesbian in her past life. <laughs> So, tell us about your lesbian experience. Girl, please. Tell us. I ain't have no lesbian experience. <laughs> okay. You ain't got a lot for the camera. That's what I'm saying. Oh, do you remember that girl? And she, oh, right. That girl? Everybody knows a girl. What's her name? That knows Sharon. a girl. It's Black Dark. No, not her. Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. Oh. Not your type? Not your type? Sharon. You used the Black Dark name? Dorothy. Her, her name. Dark, Dark, Black Dorothy. That it was Dorothy's like, girlfriend. It was like, you was in Dorothy's man. Wait, is her name Dorothy or Dorothy? Dor Dorothy. Like, because you're saying Dorothy. Oh, that's the one that was like, like Mad Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. She's Dorothy. Mad Dorothy. She took a pack of, you know, uh, I was like, sure, whatever. She came to Lala's house one yeah. time yeah. and yeah. made the crabs and the lobster. Yeah. Uh, but, like, she stole it, though. I don't know. Nigga stole it. It was mm -hmm. mad. Alright, y'all. Yeah. Cool. So, these are the rolls. Oh, look at us. We really did this. Mm. My nigga, Alberto. This is why Alberto was so big when he was younger. Because my mom used to feed him crazy. Like... Cheese, I, I, cheese. I got cheese. This cheese right here is caramel. You, you, you want that? No. Regular cheese. Shrimp cheese? Yeah. Just dump the whole pot. Um, a lot of you guys also asked, like, what happened to Jamie? What? What is that? Who's Jamie? Ah. Well, and he's like, what? Nobody's business. Who's Jamie? Ah. Wait, what? <laughs> you don't even know what Jamie I'm talking about. They don't know Jamie. Oh, you talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking she about that. She thinking that's about her friend well, Jamie. Oh, you about to joke about the spell? What? You said Jamie? No. Oh. It's the Jamie that I was locked up with, the oh. girl who was calling me from D.C. They was like, so whatever happened to Jamie? So yes, Jamie did reach out to me several times, and I used to pay for the phone calls and everything so we could talk. And at the time, like I was telling you earlier, I was dating a straight guy, and I used to tell the straight guy, like, yeah, like, you know, the girl from jail called me, and he just made me believe that I should leave them people where they are. Like you meet them, you meet them where you meet them at, but you leave them there. Like there's no need to, you know, talk afterwards. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like she might need someone outside of this. Like that's my trans sister. I gotta stay with her and I gotta be there for her. Um, so I got a little deeper into like the conversation that me and her was having. And I was letting her know, like, listen, don't let no one break your heart. Like, you're in there. She was telling me about her girlfriend experience with her girlfriend because I told you she was dating a trans girl. She was telling me about everything that was going on with her oh, and stuff on, like that. Talk, if you want. She was telling me everything that was going on between her and the girlfriend. And she's like, I just can't do this no more. I'm like, well, listen, if you can't do this, then don't do it. Like, when you come home, we're going to find you a man, bitch. Like, we're going to go outside. We're going to pump around. Like, we're going to do that one with you. Like, she was like, a oh, man. She's like, what I want with a man and I got you. <laughs> so I was like, wait, what? So basically, I feel like our time together, she probably was given like, I could see something with her. She's just like me. Um, 
hopefully when I get out, we could pursue something. And that was just like the kind of vibe I was getting. And I was like, this isn't that. Like I was literally genuinely being there as a <coughs> trans sister and a friend. Yeah, I was being she there was as old? a friend. No, she was like, she was like, yeah, gag. I think she was like 30 or something. She was like 30. But um, she looked amazing. Like she looks good. I just wanted her to get out here and get herself together. I was gonna put her on to like surgery and stuff <coughs> like that. Said it and forget it. Forget it. But yeah, so we kept in contact until I felt like she was like doing a little too much. And then on top of that, the guy I was dealing with gave me a little extra push. Like, all right, let's really cut her off because this really isn't that right. You're dealing with me and she's over here talking about being with you. Like, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. So I was like, all right, whatever. Mm, jealousy? Mm. So. Off of an inmate? Mm. Mm. I was like, you know what? So she called one day. I and I stopped answering because it'll be like an 888 number or like an 800 number. And I just would answer the phone and then she called for like about two weeks straight. And I just stopped answering and I was like, damn, like now I kind of feel a little bad. But at the same time, really respect our boundaries. And I feel like me, I could have had this conversation where I'm like, listen, this is not that. Like I'm just genuinely being here as a friend for you. So we can talk and stuff like that. But all of that other, well, I got you, and outside of here, it's just me and you type shit. Like, it's not that type of time. So. But yeah. So this was amazing. We are just gonna sit back, chit chat, and then untuck. And what? what like Rue for Drag Race say, like untuck, like we're gonna be an untuck. But I really gotta untuck literally, because I'm tucked yeah. back. Yeah, same, same. Haha, <laughs> nigga, you're not tucked. That means your three feet behind, in between your butt. Hey, you tucked? Yeah, uh, yadi. I can't tuck this, you heard? Ha ha ha. Bye. But shop you guys' merchandise. Get your merchandise. Do that one. Always doing that one. Please. And then we'll be back. Please, we need the money. Please, bro. Bye. Please. We'll be back to Please. show you guys the finished product. Please. Please. All right, guys. So we're back. This, ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is me and Alberto's. And now Yora. I don't think it's done. She got hard gluten-free noodles. Oh, it's sizzling. Hers is probably more saucier than ours. Hers is flat. Yeah, the gluten free noodles that she uses, guys. Hers is flat, so you couldn't roll it because it's hard. It softens while it's in the thing. So. That's hers. So you guys ready? Well, you can't taste that. But I'm gonna taste test. Where's the fork? The truth. The texture is amazing. The quality of the sauce isn't overpowering the noodle. <laughs> the meat is seasoned just right. And I love the blend of the onion powder mixed with the adobo that you did, the little mixture that you did there. Oh, I love it. No, but that was cooking in the kitchen with me and my brother, answering questions, really trying to get to know him. Um, new merchandise is out now. Shop Aubrey Banks on Instagram. Shop Aubrey Banks.com on the internet. Please. Purchase your shirts. Please, we shut need up. It. 
<laughs> purchase your shirts, every purchase your color. sweaters. And let's just do that one. Let's really one that one up. Bow, everybody, do that, that one. one. See you next time on the next video. Same Bye. Morning,